Hey, what's going on everyone? In this quick video, I'll be sharing with you all how you can create Stripe payment links through automation using the platforms NARN and Make.com. I'll also be giving away the blueprints and also be explaining you about how you can connect the Stripe API to create payment links with these platforms. So without any further delay, let's get started. All right, so getting started. So at first I'll be showing you all how you can do this on NARN and then on Make.com. So both are kind of the same anyhow. So yeah, so first let us search for Stripe to set up the connection. I could select anything. So I just got to create a credentials right now. So for that, we just got to copy the API key from Stripe and put it inside this one. So for that, I'll go to Stripe and you could see at the left side bottom, you could see developers over there. You just got to click on API keys. So over here, you just got to say create secret key and you could select the second one, build your own integration. And after that, you could say create secret key. And what would happen is it would ask you for the two step verification. And then it would just give you the API key once you're verified. And once the API key is created, you would have something like this. And after that, you just got to copy that API key. So which I'd be doing right now. All right. So I've copied the API key. So I'll go back to make and I just got to paste it and I'll say save. So the credentials has been connected, created. So I've entered the credentials and the connection has been set up. So now we no longer need this module. So I can delete it. And now we'd be using the HTTP module to create the, the API call because we don't, it is not possible to do with the NATO uh, Stripe node that is available by default in NRN. So I'll search for HTTP. And yeah, so now let us go back to the documentation so the end product that we're trying to achieve uh, the end goal is to create a payment link so we want a link that has that ability to, to for the clients or the customers to go and make payments over there so for that you can see this is the endpoint for that and they ask for the price id and the quantity which are the mandatory fields so in order to get the price id you got to create a price all right you can see at the left you got to we got to create a price so once you ha have a price created you would have we would have the price id so and for the quantity it is all i mean it is either one or two so how much ever you want so you can either do this so in order to create a price we want a product so with a, you cannot create like a random price so you want to assign that price to some product so for that you got to create a product first so we'd be starting with creating a product and you got to create a product create a price and then create a payment link that is how this is going to be so over here in the in in create a product this section right here we already have the option to create the price in this endpoint itself so it'd be going with this endpoint for now so i'd be copying this right here or, or else you know what i can do is i can just copy this copy this go back to our NRN and i can say import this and i'll say paste import you can see we just got this imported over here so for the authorization we've already added the connection so we can delete that so i'll go and delete this so for the authorization what we gotta do is over here, you can see we got to select predefined credentials and over here I can search for Stripe API and the Stripe API is now connected. So we're not going to be sending any headers. So I'll turn that off and you can see the name. So the name is going to be the name of the product. So you can give <laughs> by default, we've got this. So I'll say testing testing for test <laughs> and after that for the next parameter so you can let me go back to the api you can see for create a product there are a bunch of you can add name you can add description you can add some metadata you can also add images as well so let's say your product wants to have some images you can do that as well so whenever the person is trying so whenever you create a final link it would have that image while in that payment link so so yeah so i can try to add that as well so coming back into coming back to nrn Okay, we've got the name. Let me add the description. This is the first final test. So this is the description that I've given. And is there anything else that we could add? And yeah, so we'd also be adding the price. So you can see default price data. So either what you can do is you can just first create the product and then create the price separately using the price endpoint and connect that price with this or else to make things easier and straightforward. We can just copy this. Yeah, let me copy this. So there are some child parameters that needs to be taken so we'd be needing the currency and the unit amount so we'll be using both of these in our request so and it should be in this format that i just should be in this exact format and for the currency it is going to be for now i can i'm going to say usd but you could give whatever currency you want and after that we'd be pasting for unit amount 
my god this here so i'll be putting the unit amount right here and we, it should be exactly like this you see and it's gonna be usd and for the price okay so talking about the price so whatever price that you want to create while you're creating a request from api you always got to make sure that you multiply it by 100 so you just got to add two zeros whenever so let's say I'm, i want to create for one dollar you got to add it as 100 if you want to do it for 100 dollars you got to do it as how much 10,000 so this is how it works so so yeah so right now i'm going to be adding for one dollar so i'll be making it 100 so you see so we've created the product with a price this is how the, this request works so i'll give this a name saying create and after that i'll just clone this And over here, we'd just be saying create product, create product link. I mean, create price. And over here, so let me go back to the API doc docs and you can see payment link. So this is what we'd be using right now. So we'd be using the post request to create a payment link. And again, we could just copy this exactly right here. Or you know what, let us just do the exact same. Go to payment links. I just copy the C URL, go back here, import, paste, import. And again, we'll not be needing any headers. So I'll take that out for authentication, predefined credentials. And again, I can search for Stripe and see Stripe API. And yeah, so this is the price item. So so, so what we do previously is to create a product and create a price along with that default price along with that product. So it would just give us a product product id and the price id so we just got to take that price id which is associated with the previous product and just connect it inside this so i'll just uh, show that to you all real quick so we can take all these because these are not required so these both are the exact ones required for this and you can see this is the payment links so it is payment links predefined credentials stripe api and this is this has got to be the you know the body content type and after that we say items so you can go back here and you can see line items so if you want to create for multiple products so let, then you just got to do it as an array for multiple products by entering the ids for all of them so now what we got to do is so the uh, the quantity is going to be one in this case if you want to do it for two you can do that so now i'll just run the previous module all right so the previous module has run successfully so you see we get the product id along with the price id default price so now we got to put that default price into this one so for that over here i can just map i can just map the price yeah default price i'm just mapping it inside this and I'll say run once for this now. Oh, it is running again from first. So now we should have a product created called test for testing for test along with the price tag $1 in it. So the product should have been created twice because I run this twice first time while I'm creating it. And now, so let me go back to Stripe and have a look at that. Going back to Stripe. So let me go to payment links and you can see testing for test, act two, and the price is $1. You can see the price is $1. And let me go to product catalog. You can see testing for test, like I said, it is created twice and this is the one that just got created right now so so yeah so this is how you do it as simple as that so if, if you want to open this and copy okay i'll go to the payment links copy the link you could see we just get it so let's say if you want to add an image i'll show you how you can do that if you want to add an image over here so i'll go and search for copyright sorry copyright free images just try to get some image okay i'll take this so i'll say copy link address so now i've already created the payment link so now let me try to i mean i already created the product price so i'm going to be using the update a product endpoint to update this and see if the image appears over there so now let me go back to this so i'm going to use this endpoint right here so it is pretty much the same you could see so i'm going to go back here I'll say duplicate because right now we're going to be updating this. Unlimited royalty free music for videos 
well you know uh, when in your case when you're creating you can just easily just add a parameter over here and just say yeah you can just say image and give it an array zero and put in the link and it should work perfectly fine so you just got to put in the image like this over here and if we try to create a new one it should work perfectly fine so i was just trying to you know trying to use the edit endpoint edit api to edit the product and see how it goes so let me do that now so here I'll take the product ID. And we've, we don't want to edit any of any of these. We just got to edit the image for the image, put this and, and just paste in the image link, right? I've pasted the image link. So uh, let me see if I put the product ID in the exact format. I hope I did. Yeah. So now let me come back here and say run this. Oops. I got an error. It says did you? Yeah. It's so, okay. So this is supposed to be images, I believe. So I've made made it images to so make sure you say it as images, even when you are trying to create the product. So I'll run it again. Run it again. Yeah. So now it has succeeded. So now let me go back. Okay. So now let me refresh this page and see how it goes. Let's see if the image is added or not. Oh. It's not oh it is added you see this is the image that we just added through the api i just edited the, edited the existing uh, product using the api and it worked so that is it i mean so going back so what you can do is let's say if you want to add an image you can just add it directly and create a product you can just scroll down and add the image like this okay you just got to make sure this image is not image and after that you know it's going to work and for price just multiply it by, by just multiply it by 100 and yeah so this is it so now going back to this section i'll go to product catalog test for testing you can see the image is added and the description is also added in the way that i've given so i said this is the first final test i'm sorry about the weird description but you get the idea right so here is the description this is the first final test so this is how you do it so that is it i gotta say so now let me show this exactly real quick how you can do it on make.com so this is make.com scenario so you can search for stripe and you could see make an api call because we'd be using so you could say add a new connection and you could say API based in the API key here. And after that connection is done, you get to go. And then next, what we got to do is, so, let, so since the connection is already set up here, so you just got to enter a path. So I'll go back here and you just got to copy the V1 products, this one only. So for that, because the relative path is already entered inside, is already taken by Stripe. So you just got to enter this and you could say post request. You know what? I think it has already been more than 10 minutes. So I'll just show you, show you all a quick look about the scenario that is already built on Mac.com instead of me building it from scratch, because I've already done it on NRN and you know, it is, it could make, make things faster. All right. So here is the, the final scenario that I just set up quickly to show you, show you all. So I think I've said before that this could be done in another way, where first we create the product and create the price separately and then we create the payment link so this is not how we did it on NRN, but i'm just i have mentioned it before in the starting of the video uh, but you, you know this is an example of how this could be done so this the below one is the exact replica that we just did on NRN. So like we create the product we add the name we add the description and we add the image link if needed. And this one is mandatory and this one is mandatory. I mean, it is not mandatory, but to do it in this method, it is mandatory. But you see in the above method, we've never really added price or the currency because we add it in the next request page. We create like a dedicated price for that. We say the currency is USD. The product is for the, the product is referenced from the previous module before right here. So you see two dot body dot ID it is from the before one. And then for the amount, we just uh, use this function. So the reason for this function is we've got zero zero. So let's say the value was coming in before from the scenario that I just took this from. It was coming as a, you know, it was coming as this specific value. So it means that it is not a valid number so we got to take this out we've got to strip this off so that is the reason we i use a replace function and replace this dollar symbol with an empty value and now it become with it would just become a valid integer and be accepted by this api so that is the purpose of this and after that we just reference this from the previous module. So we create a price and we reference the price into this payment link request. And then the quantities one just like before. But if it is confusing, you can ignore this. So the idea is simple. We create the product first and with the product, we take the product ID and create a payment for that uh, price for that. It's called price. Uh, I mean, it is called prices. OK, and after, after that, we take the price ID that we just created and then create the payment link using that price ID. So here, what we do is we create the price 
price and the product in a single first module itself. So while creating the product, it has an option to add a default price data. So we just add the price over here itself and it would output as the price ID. So over here, you take the price ID and then just create a payment link with this module right here. So this is exactly the same like I did on NRN. So that is it. So please do let me know if you've got any doubts and I think that is it for this video. Sorry, what I meant was let me show you a real life scenario of how this how this Stripe automation of creating payment links could be you know useful for business owners. So as you could see here, this is an automation that we've built for a client of ours. So what happens is when a contract is signed, so the agent and the client signs the contract together. And after that, we it catches the webhook, downloads it. And after that, it searches for that agent in the Google Drive. And if the agent is new, it creates an, a new folder and sends them an access. And after that, it uploads the file inside um, Google Drive and extracts these information from the contract. And after that, what happens is we create you could see this step. We create the payment link using Stripe and put it inside a Google Doc. And after that, we upload the contract and the Google Doc file with the Stripe link so that the agent is also able to see. And also we send them an email to the client so that they're able to take and make the payment. So this is one of the use cases that we've built just recently, but you know, you could use it in n number of ways to create payment links. So yeah, so that is it for this video guys. So please do let me know if you've got any doubts and thank you so much for taking your time and checking into this. So I'll add the resources down in the description and please do let me know if you've got any doubts. So cheers.